Hi everybody. Okay, tense time lucky. Noise going on next door, noise going on outside, texts coming through, forgot I had vibrate on, flatmate coming home, walking upstairs. It's all going on here today, all going on, all at the time I want to do a recording. Never mind, never mind. It's real. This is reality. So today in London, oh, how are you? Sorry, how are you guys? Are you all right? Are you well? How's everyone coping with the fact the shops or mo some of the shops are open again uh, at the moment? Is that exciting? Did you queue? Were you in the queues for Primark on Monday? Um, were you, uh, what was the first thing you bought? That could be, that could be an interesting topic of conversation. What was the first thing you bought in a shop, a non-essential shop? There we go. Send your ideas in. I'd love to hear them. Or what, what will be the first thing? That you that you do because if you wouldn't be sending ideas in because you would have actually bought it <laughs> yeah she worked that one out so hot claggy day needs a thunderstorm keep saying it on the weather app it's hot no air that kind of day but 24 degrees so i'm sure for people who live my friends who live in singapore that's like nothing hot sticky no air days are the norm are the norm there so I thought today, and by the way, hi Alvin and Adrian and families. So by the way, I thought I would start talking today about how to make things up, stuff you've got left over, because some of the essential things are still not happening. So I made myself today some foot scrub, foot scrub. I'm dying for a pedicure. I know it's not a complete essential, but we are in summertime and it's nice to wear sandals and it's nice to have nice smooth feet. And I love to go out in the garden in the morning and walk around bare feet. So I spend a lot of time not wearing any shoes and I like to look nice. I like to have my nails done. Oh, dying for a pedicure. They always do it really well as well, the one I go to. So I thought, right, what can I do? How can I make it work? So I have done this. I've done this, but I didn't actually have the scrub before. So I had a little rummage around in my toiletries and last summer when I was living in Kensington, uh, I had a bath in that flat. I was only there for a short time, six weeks I think it was, yeah, it was for the summer. And um, I had a bath, so I bought some Epsom salts and I also had this special um, pack of salts that were peppermint and rosemary flavoured, scented, scented. So I'd regularly have a bath, love a bath. It's great for the feet too. It kind of soaks them and makes them really nice. Don't have a bath in this flat. So anyway, I found in my toiletries, my spare toiletries, a little bit of Epsom salt left and some of these crystals. I thought, brilliant. So I looked it up online. I thought, I've got to be able to make something here. I used to work at the Jeffrey Museum, which I think I might have told you before, which is now called the Museum of the Home. And we used to do these kind of things all the time. At Kensington Palace, I made bath bombs, like scenty things, things to rub on your skin, using all the essential oils from the garden. So we had a herb garden at the Jeffrey and, um, and they used to have herbs at uh, Kensington. So I decided to quickly look it up. It's a super easy recipe. And I will put it at the bottom. But basically it's coconut oil. I, I used coconut oil, but you can use other carrier oils that you might have in your um, cupboard. Again, I'll make a, put a list down of those. But I used coconut just purely because it's like so moisturising. And then I added these Epsom salts and the peppermint. Another clanky clank. <laughs> it's reality, people, reality. Um, Epsom salts and then my rosemary and peppermint um muscle relief bath salts and the reason that i was doing these uh, this was because there's really it's really good to kind of get that scrub like that scrubby feel and then if you just add just a tiny little bit of water to an amount of it when you put it in your hand and then you're scrubbing your feet or your legs or i don't know whatever your elbows it's just like it's just so so nice and the other thing is that it leaves the oil on the skin to make it really nice as well what i would say though if, is if you are going to do this be very very careful if you are doing it in the shower because it can make the floor slippery so just be very careful of that because you're standing you've got like oily oily um feet afterwards so just as a little disclaimer watch out for that but if you don't or haven't had a pedicure and i'm talking i'm talking men and women here like i've been in all sorts of salons and I love it where you go with your partner and you sit and you have a nice, you sit in the, that chair and you've got the massage thing going and you've got a bit of music. Or they've got like MTV on and you're rocking away to it, especially the one that I go to in California with my friend Louise. It's really, really cool. That one, they bring the champagne out. They even have, because it's legalised there, CBD bath oils that they put in the water that's supposed to like penetrate through and make you even calmer. But the combination of the, of the um, I didn't have it, but I was just imagining the combination of the champagne with, the, with that. I'm not sure where that would take me. And, um... <laughs> 
and I just I just knew I kind of wanted to be compass mentors so um so yes so today was about homemade bath salts they're really oh, I just love the peppermint smell I'm a bit addicted to that spa experience stuff it's really gorgeous it's just like Oh, so, so nice. It's just so, so nice. And if you don't have any of those, you might have essential oils that you could do a few, add a few drops in um, that you might have from an oil burner or, uh, I know, massage or, so, or a gift that you've been given. This is the kind of thing that you can use where you've been given that gift at Christmas with a few nicky nicky knacky bits and you've like, what do I do with the bar sorts? I don't like bar sorts. They're old fashioned. Well, use them for a scrub. It's just absolutely perfect on your feet. Give your feet a treat. There we go. Have a look at that. It was so nice and I painted my toes. It's nothing as good as when you go for a pedicure, but at least it gives your feet a little bit of love. That's what we need. So anyway, that's it for me. Sending lots of love as always and from my feet too, which have had especially big amounts of love today. <laughs> um, if you like what you see, please subscribe, please follow. Every day I post something different about what's going on, something that I've done, arts and crafts, meditation, walks adventures all sorts of things going on lots and lots of food and drink because that's obviously very important that's a life um uh one of the major things that i love about life anyway so take care lots of love from the little nuns room and see you tomorrow